Hey, Santiago, can you see my screen? Hello, can you see my screen? Anybody? Hello, yep, I can see it. Okay, good. Good, good morning. Good morning, uh, good morning. I can see also. Thank you for doing it. Good no problem. All right, we got about a minute to start. All right, good morning, guys. Good morning. I got two cans here. I don't know which one's which. Uh, well, I'm the other one. <laughs> <laughs> but Ken Redford. Yeah, but you both appear as Ken. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right. All right. So let's get started. Uh, I know some of you didn't attend the last one, but hopefully you guys reviewed the video. And what I'm gonna do is the first 15 minutes, we're gonna just spend answering any questions you have and then go into the, you know, the enhanced presentation. How's that? Yeah, you're sure. the boss. <laughs> okay, so go ahead, go ahead, fire away. Uh, okay. On your MACD, on your chart, um, what is the advantage, or is there is there an advantage over, like, let's say, the Heikinashi, or um, this? Give me, give me, yeah, yeah, uh, the candle. Like this one is a one-hour chart with a four-hour candle between the four-hour momentum, so I can trade from red to blue. Okay, uh, explain that again. Heikinashi. Akanashi then just masks all of this. You know, uh, here it's telling me momentum has changed. I need to consider getting up. 
Now, if I if I'm following the 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 longer time frame, I can stay in, but I know even in the retrace, and when it gets back to red again, I can get in. Then I can get in. Okay, so that chart we're looking at, what time frame is it? One hour? One hour. And the candles are set for a four hour? Yeah, the MACD is set for four hours, right? Sh show me your settings so I can get an idea how you do that. And then that's pretty much all I need to. I don't know. Okay. And then you go ahead. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now I understand. <laughs> I knew there was something. Okay. So if I'm looking at the one hour, I set it in my four hour. Now, if I have my four hour, uh, okay. You have your four hours on the daily. That's yeah. the tempted I sent you. So if I had it on the 15 minute, I'd set it to the four hour. I yes. mean the one hour. No, 15 minutes is also on the four hour. Oh, okay. So basically four hour. Okay. Okay. Great. The five I, minute is on the one hour. Okay. So the 15 minute and the one hour is set on the four hour. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and the one minute is on the 15, uh, 15 minute candles. Okay. Well, hey, hey, that's, hey, that's, Ken? yes, sir. Yeah, the, the reason we, we picked the four hour is because at any given time we always following the the we always following the um, the momentum of the four hour. And Got we, it. No matter what you're trading, you always want to be at least trading in in that direction. Oh yeah, I mean I'm all for that. I I I didn't know that's how you did it. I you probably I know you mentioned it in the meeting last week, but I went over but just went through one ear out the other. Okay, okay, great. Thank that's you. Why we, that's why we're meeting today. We clear up some. You mean the color, the color, the momentum, meaning the color of the H four, not necessarily, but maybe accentuated with the side of the zero line, also. Uh, yeah, you can say that. I mean, but this this is a different indicator. The momentum is different. This is actually the MACD itself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, and this is the filter. So okay. I'm matching the MACD, four hour MACD to the four hour filter and then trading that momentum. Got it. Yeah, that's neat. Okay, well, well you answered the, okay, that's great. That's just, I can't wait to play with it now. <laughs> yeah, and this uh, arrow is basically the one hour change in momentum. You don't need it, but uh, I have it up there. Every time it turns to red, it gets a, a down arrow. Every time it goes uh, blue, it gets an up arrow. So it's just a visual confirmation. Oh, so the arrows are one hour, but the bars are four hour. No, no, the arrow is also four hour. Oh, okay, so, okay. Right? Excellent. Yep. I think, yeah. Let me make sure. Yeah, the arrows are one hour. Sorry. All right. Okay. Well, the candle might be set to four. Yeah, the candles are four. Okay. Oh, this is a five minute chart. Sorry. Never mind. Oh, 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 oh. It's one and one. Uh, the 15 minute is a uh, four and four. Okay. Uh, where is my blue? <coughs> so the cyan is a, is the a four hour. The black is a one hour. So the four hour, one hour getting into sync, and then you have your momentum here, and that's a trade. This is the MACD is getting into sync. Okay. I, I didn't generally get into that because we are doing uh, we are, we are doing a four hour low. Here's the low of the day, and then it comes into sync over here, and you know you can trade. <coughs> and this one was up 130 some pips. Yeah. So that's the four hour we're looking at, right? It's the four hour candle. Yeah. Yeah, and the black arrow is also. No, the, the, the cyan or the aqua is a four hour candle. Okay, okay. And the one hour is the, I mean, the black is a one hour momentum. So I kept the colors consistent from time frame to time frame. Okay. Uh, well, I, what I'm saying is that if you have a four hour 
up and a one hour down, you're going to get sideways motion. It's mixed. Yeah, you got to have agreement. Got right. it. So once you got the agreement, it took off. All you have to do is mouse over it, and then you'll see what that indicator is tied to. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks, It'll guys. say H1 or whatever, or daily or. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I'm pretty much uh, tickled. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you made a great trade, trade this morning, so. It wasn't Getting great, but it, it, yeah, but uh, it, it was there, so I went ahead and took it. Right. Uh, any other questions? Come on, guys. This is a new system. Should be more questions. <laughs> it is quite tickling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laughing all you the way to the saw, bank. You just saw the four-hour flash red. Uh, yeah, right there. And that means that the, the, the momentum is about to change. So be careful. This is a tightening the stop situation. Right, as long as the truth. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. Not necessarily get out, but it's tightening your stops. Yeah, got it. Okay, I got a question. You know, on your, uh, your four in the yellow print. You got top of the four hour candle M30, M, uh, H1, H4, H12. Can you set that up to always stay there or? No, because I have a 34 inch screen. Okay. Uh, you guys may have a 27 or anything, something different. Oh, yeah, you can. You can? Yeah, anchor it with the parameters tab on the right side of it instead of the top right corner instead of the top left corner and then you can just go however you know like that would probably be about a setting of 10 in the x-axis if you click top right okay wow just a few well, out it's actually the top left but yeah uh, i don't know why it does that it's the right. and then okay. brings it out over here tankers You know, it, it, but if I if I minimize the screen like this, it, it disappears. It does, it still doesn't show up. Yeah, that's why you want to anchor it from the right border instead, and then it will still be there, but not with a twenty four hundred seventeen setting on the X. You got to take it say five or zero even. Yeah, just make that either zero or five or something little. And then it'll be anchored to the right border. Oh, okay. The right corner, quote unquote. Now, now minimize that screen again so it's half screen and you'll see it there. It's got, yeah, top right. Let me try it. I'm just trying it in, in uh, live mode here. I forgot to change the, the setting on the X and the Y. Okay. Oh. Mark, you're brilliant. Well, I've had a that's many fun. years to discover these things just by accident, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, even the user guide doesn't mention this because labels are not important to MP4. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. At the bottom. So you get an, a turn in the H4 arrows and, and you mark that as the candle that is the H4 candle that changes the direction. Yeah, the, I don't need the H4 candle, uh, the arrow itself, because the, the candle yeah. itself is marking the turns. Very yeah, cool. true, true. But uh, though in, on this one, you need the one hour so so that you can see the sinking. Yeah. Uh, that's that's all it is. And then the, the, the snatcher, uh, you know, this was probably a yellow three ball, and then it retraced, but the one hour was not in sync. 
Yeah, I have nothing to, but questions about the, the snatcher. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a separate class. <laughs> I got we'll do a separate presentation on that. Where okay. <laughs> that, that'll take a little while to go through. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now if I minimize it, we should say, okay, there we go. So wow. I, I will update the, the template and with, with that modification and send it out again. Okay. Yeah. I just like the yellow color, so I put it on yellow, but you guys can change it to whatever you want. Any other questions? I think Deborah had something. Oh, I was just going to ask about the snatcher also, but n not a problem. Okay. I I'll just say the, the snatcher is just an indication. It it's not stable when it's changing color, you know changing directions. It could move from here to here, for example, like, like I said, from here to here, just depending on the price action. You're better off looking at your filters and, okay. and these arrows mm -hmm. yeah. for confirmation. Right. I mean, even if you took the trade here, you would have a small loss because your stop loss is down here. Uh, it, it still minimizes your, your losses. How did you get the X in you, the larger circles? Mine say one, two, three. You can just snatch it up. Let's change it to a one. And, you know, this is a ball one, ball two, ball three. Let's change the ball three to a one. And then it does what? Then it puts an X out there. Huh. Well, do you know what those uh, default numbers are? 140, 141, 142. Yeah. So you need to change all of those? I mean, these are just ASCII characters. You can put whatever you want in there. You know, the wingdings. Um. Oh, the X. If you type in on your browser, uh, ASCII wingdings, it'll bring up your page and show you all the okay, all, all the numbers. Okay. Uh, you, you can play around with that. That's not a more resistance presentation. <laughs> all right. Any other questions? How, how did you uh, did? How did you do this? I mean, I did just talking to other people, other traders, or you sleeping uh, at night. You know, how did you come to all this? I think uh, John Santiago and I have been uh, experimenting with putting filters uh, on different on uh, different time frame filters on the same chart. We just didn't Ar have this indicator. Irishman John, John Hurley, Burley, Hurley. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I know. I know uh, we had our own little chat going, and we were experimenting on the FSS system. Right, right. Uh, with uh, putting uh, the the filter because oh, we were yeah. going off the higher time frame filters, uh, you know, at the bottom here for yeah, the yeah. higher time frames, just like yeah. we've done over here. We sure. just didn't have this indicator. So when we when we got the multi time frame indicator, it became a little easier. Except now, like you know four or five bars change at the same time because it's a higher time frame. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whereas on, on the one we had, it wasn't as accurate, uh, but it would change it, you know, one bar at a time. Uh, it's just, it wasn't as smooth as this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 Raju, can you minimize it a little bit to see more? more um... Minimize it. I didn't get that. I mean, make make it smaller so you can see more more days. Uh, oh, you mean more, uh, more, more, more structure? Up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. As you guys can see, the the cyan arrow is your four hour. As you can see, it it predicted the the high of Thursday. Right. After the arrow came in, that was pretty much your high today. Correct. So and that's today, another thing. Without looking down here, you can know where the high of the day and the low of the day is. And, and today, I gave a low in the London session. The arrow came in. 
How did you decide which time frames to use to go with that for say that's the day that's the session that's you know that sort of thing just just back testing each just each looking time frame. yeah, yeah looking back out. testing yeah and, and in what uh, fit? Out, yeah come out it came out that the four hour uh was very consistent um in in in, in giving this the, the daily swing it's for yeah. the high and low yeah and then I, I just went from there, playing around with the sessions and, and figure out the one hour gave a good consistency with the high and low of the, of the, of the session. As you can see, the black arrows are the, are the one hour, pretty much gives you the high and lows. If it's going sideways, you'll have multiple highs and lows of sessions. Okay. If you guys come to a conclusion on, um, a stop i mean is it when the candle changes color is it a trail is it a uh raphael has a great stop uh, that he gave to us i mean have you talked about it or yeah but no to answer your question bluntly no we haven't okay. talked about it but okay. if you're taking the entry here my and this is just me my stop is here but if my stop is more than 15 pips, for example, on a 15 minute chart, yeah. I would not take the trade. Because Got that it. means move too far, you know. Yeah. I needed to come back. And once the swing comes back and it comes within my tolerance level, that's when I'll take the trade. Ah, got it. Got it. It's risk management and money management at that point. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, like here, I mean, if I came in on this bar, you're too this far away. Yeah. 50 pips stop. I'm not taking that. No way. Right. But then it, right. it bounced back and went back up. And my stop is now 17 pips. Okay. I'll take it. Better, better price. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Got it. <clears throat> well, it's a better risk, uh, risk, risk to reward ratio. Do you do a trail trailing stop? No. I mean, no, I don't. Once it gets to 15, 20 pips, I just break even this later on. Okay, because I see that it came down pretty good on that blue. Uh, yeah, over here. Yeah, came down pretty good. No, if, if depends again what I'm following. If I'm following the four hour filter, then my exit is here, like I explained the other time. You know, it's right here. And that so gives me 77 pips. Now, am I going to kick myself that I didn't get 90 pips? Got it. Oh, 100 and some pips. I got 70 pips. Seventy Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I agree. It's the green factor that ultimately <laughs> come and bite you in the behind. Yeah, you but know? you got the meat of the trade. That's the deal. Yeah. Right. right. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Um, so, like I said, we will be talking about uh the different types of trading uh if you go to the h1 let's start from there we have three filters down here let me while i'm at it left right corner fix these Take a second please sorry So we went to the two-day filter for our long term. This is for position trading. Okay. Cool. We went for H12. We went for uh, swing trading, and the four-hour we went for scalping. So what does that mean? That means if you're following this trend, you're you're following this trend on the one-hour chart, on this chart itself. So when these come into sync. Right, like here, you're going to stay with the trade. 270 some pips. Now you're going to have some hard burn, but you're going to wait for this to turn blue before you get out. And that's like one, two, three, four, maybe Monday or Tuesday. 
really dark. That makes sense. I'm calling it a position trade. It's not a month long position trade. Well, it's for us scalpers, that's more, you know, multi-day trade. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need some verification. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like here on the blue swing. The trade mm -hmm. starts here, but the entry is here. When it came to sink in this one, but no, the top part has to be above zero. Okay. No question yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, these, this can be below zero, this can be below zero, but this has to be above zero. And this trade. Term, shorter term should be above. Yes, the, the top filter should be above zero. This gave 280 pips here, because so it turned red, we got out, and then we got back in. Now this was too large, so the entry is here. That's another 80 pips and another 40 pips. So you can break this trade down based on blue and uh, this is a four hour candle that you're trading based on a daily or two day filter. The two day thing is brilliant. Um, yeah. I could talk for an hour about that and I'm not going to, but that's really a neat way the way that fits for swings that's fabulous and then if you if you notice i have the four hour arrow and this is a daily arrow okay mm -hmm. it's not the two days the daily itself the red yeah okay so when these two came into sync really your your entry should have been here all lines up. Incredible. And then 170 pips. Okay. So on a daily chart, that would be the first daily bar on that calendar day that would turn blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. The MACD. If you want to stay with the red to red, then you just, you know, take your trade. Again, it's, it's all dependent on how you want to trade, but red to red, 240 pips. And now you're going down and then red to red, 240 pips. So that's your, that's what I'm calling a position trade because it goes like almost a week. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. And then if you want to trade on, on a daily basis or a couple of day basis, you do the H12, but you do it on the 15 minute. <coughs> okay. And here you can go blue to blue. So you turn blue here. Here's your entry. Yeah, our stop loss is somewhere here. It's 26 pips, it's a little high. So you can get, you know, wait for a retrace. And this is why I had it expanded. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to see the. So he, here is where it get into tolerance, right? So this is like a 12 pip stop. And here's your exit, 133 pips. You know, when this came in. Now you're looking for a long. Here's your entry. It's uh, 38 pips, so you wait for it to retrace a little bit. 24 pips, and you're still in the trade because it hasn't turned red. Okay? But you could have made 100 pips. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. If you want to trade scalping, you trade hey, it on the five minute. Hey, 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 hey Rajiv. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you. Um, it, it's, uh, make make the comparison with the H12 and the four hour chart, so you can get a better understanding <coughs> why why are we taking those those short swings. H12 and the four. Go ahead, you can do it. Oh, okay, um, as, as you can see, like the like the H12 swing um, from red 
from uh, when it changes from blue to red and then back to blue <clears throat> when you go over to your four hour chart. You, you, you basically trading all those swings on your four hour chart. Yeah, this was the dumb. Yeah, so every, all, all the ups and downs of your four hour, your swings, your highs on your four hour chart. You, you, right. you're, you're trading, trading those, this leg. Those leg and then you're trading the leg up. Now you're trading this leg. Now you're trading this leg up. Right, so that's, that's, that's the interpretation of the H12 that allows you to take those swings on your up your four hour chart. Oh. And that's from this one, you're trading the up leg right here. Yeah, another up leg. And you were you, you probably catch this on the down leg on the 15 minute. Let's see. Go ahead. I'm sorry, somebody has a question. I'm interrupting. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. That from the 15 is the other perspective you were looking at before, right? Right. So this is blue on the four hour. Let's see what it looks like on the 15. On the 15, you got this downswing right here. The four hour, one hour mashed up. This is the one we were talking about. Nice. 16 pip, and you made 51 pips. This was, this was a short down on the four hour. But you still got 51 pips out of it, and you won't have traded it otherwise. That make you sense? Definitely. Make you sense? Back to the 15 for a sec. Yeah, I mean, I, once I once it turned red over here, right? On the H12. Yeah. So this should be the same on the 15 minute turn. Red, right? Now I'm just looking for shorts. Mm -hmm. The short doesn't appear or doesn't sync up till here. Yeah. This is a sync, right? Everything's red. And it's retraced to a better price, which is a plus. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Say it again. It is retraced to a better selling price, which yes. is. So this is a point I was making, like this, this uh, stop, 32 pips, uh, that's too risky for me. So I'm not taking the entry here. I'm gonna yeah. wait, I can either drop it to the five minute. Okay, so I can say, okay, where's my entry? On the five minute is here. And my stop loss is here, the 17 pips. And that's tolerable, you know, 15 plus minus. So if I mark the trade off, and go back to the 15 and say, okay, see, this is why I don't trade my stops because it came back, tested my entry and then dropped. Yeah. Now, if I had been, uh, let's see, this 15 pips, yeah, I would have probably been taken out as break even. I would get back in here with a five pip stop loss and get out here for 35 pips. So it's still an active management, but it's within the day. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you want to trade as a scalper on the five minute, you're following the four hour trend right there. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you say that again? Yeah, the scalper, you know, like the what FSS teaches us, you know, to, to do scalping, they just don't teach you how. Right. If you're trading the four hour time frame. Where's my labels? Yeah. The bottom. What happened to my labels here? The bottom histogram. Yeah, this that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know what happened to my labels, but I, I have to fix all this. It's anyway. over to the 2000s. <laughs> I, I'll fix it in the objects. But the point is that uh, you're looking at the four hour, like today, and it flipped to blue here. And if you're trading the uh, 
the Asian session, you're, you're looking at it and saying, okay, I'm in a downtrend on the, on, the, on the snatcher. I need this to finish. So let's say this was a yellow three ball. Came in here and this became your entry, but you got a red. So you're not entering on this. And here it comes, everything becomes blue. You have a 29 pip stop loss. And now I'm not taking that entry. And you go, okay, over here. Still a big stop loss. You go here. Okay, 19 pips. I can live with that. 120 pips will pound you. That's good. And then I say, okay, where's my exit? Right there. 67 pips. Make sense? Fabulous. Yeah, so it's, it's not necessary that you take the first entry. Okay, you got to do your money management. Now, I'm not saying that it won't be successful, but you have to have your lot sizes uh, set properly. So if you're using one lot and you only want 20 pips as your stop loss max, and you're getting a, uh, let's say a 30 pip, that's 67. So you, instead of using one lot, you're going to use 0.67 of a lot. So, so your risk is still the same, right? And then you, you can go for your 100, uh, 100 pips and you make $670 instead of 1,000. See, that's the yeah, baby. That's great. <laughs> well, I mean, again, this is a, it's your risk tolerance that you have to keep in mind when you're taking an entry, okay? Just don't take the entry blindly. You have to adjust your lot sizes so your risk is managed and you I don't feel that your account is getting reduced by, you know, by so much because your stop losses are so high. Uh, there are people that, that set a standard of 50 pips stop loss, but they manage their, their lot size based on their 50 pips, okay, regardless of what, which trade they take. You yes. understand what I'm saying? So some people set it to 30 standards, some, some 50, some, I don't have a tolerance for more than 15 plus minus, you know, Everybody's different, but you have to do that to take your trips. I can't emphasize that enough. I don't want to harp on it too much, but I want to hear the short. Look at this. My stop loss is like 35 pips. I have to reduce my large size. Plus, I'm in a two ball retracement anyway. So I have to wait for the retracement to be done before I take a short again. That'll probably take me close to my, uh, you know, it can be a better entry. So those are three styles, and and based on the on the system uh, or, or the type of trader you are, well, you, you can tolerate the swings, you know, on the one hour, like this. Uh, this is this swing is 104 pips. I mean, you're in the money, but it's going against you 104 pips and you're going, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. You're not this kind of trader. If you're on the 15 minute, your swing is 40 pips. Can you tolerate that? If the answer is no, then you're trading on the five minute. I mean, here you're getting out, you're from the top, you're 15 pips. You know, so again, you know, just just find out the uh, type of trader you are, and trade it. Trade that time frame. Set your goals. This is very important. You know, uh, if you want to make five thousand, six thousand a month, uh, you're trading one lot. You're making thirty pips a day. You're going to make six thousand. Doesn't matter how many pairs you trade. Like I did three pairs this morning and I got my 34 pips when I was out. And then the, and then the Aussie just tanked after that. Well, Raj, I'm, I'm trying to build a small account. And so therefore I need to trade the five minute because I can't tolerate, you know, a, a drawdown of 40 pips. Mm -hmm. Can you... 
can you read, can you show us again the entries on the five minute, how you would do that? Okay, so here's the four hour. I don't know why I don't have a label. Give me a second. The drawdown he was talking about was against your profit position. All my four hours. Work from way to pie already. What happened to four hour label? No wonder it's not back, it's just disappeared. Uh, yeah, uh, give, let me put this back on. Give me a second. Uh, top right corner. Five. Zero. H4. Go back to five. Okay. Uh, and this is a one hour. So, okay. If you're trading the five minute, right? Uh, I don't know when you come into trade. Uh, what time, Deborah? What time do you come into trade? U.S. at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Eastern. So you're here. Right. And you're looking at the chart and it's going, okay, I have four hours pointing up. Where is my sink? My sink is right here, right? This every, everything sinks up. This is a fresh saddle, right? Right. And then you're, now you're saying, okay, your stop loss is like 30 pips. Is that tolerable for you? Mm -hmm. If not, you don't take the trade. Okay. You know, I mean, it's, it's very simple mm -hmm. when you think about it. Uh, people's four trades anyway, but it should be like pound dollar here. Pound dollar, 10 pips stop loss. Oh, yeah. Go for it mm -hmm. and make 50 pips. Or even, even not 50 pips, you make it 30 pips. Forty-five pips. You know? Mm -hmm. it, it's that kind of thinking that you need to invoke uh, when you're trading. And of course, your pound fares are going to be the best for you to get the maximum hit. Okay. Like a pound CAD, I think this morning was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right? Pound CAD. Uh, this is too much of a stop loss. So you say, no, I won't take this. Pound Swissy. Pound Swissy is blue. You already got a three ball here, so you got to wait. Here's your entry. Again, the stop loss is too much. So Pound Swissy is not your trade. Mm -hmm. On NZV. Well, you blue all the way here. This is too much. Not your trade. Uh, you just filter it out very, very quickly. Okay. Uh, you, the chart you were just on. Now, with that X up there, uh, the wing ding all the way on the right. You now consider that this could be, uh, maybe you would be out of your long um, because that's. Yes. Yes, yeah. I, would, I would have put the stop down here and being taken out, right? You got a 30 minute color change there. Um, yeah. At 30 minutes, I don't, I'm trading either the one hour or the four hour. These are my trends. Mm -hmm. The 30 minute and the 15 minute is just for sinking to get into a tree. And as soon as that H4 changes to red, you're going to be biased toward looking for shorts at this time frame and the concept of trading in. Correct. That right? That's correct. Now, when you get a bias change like that, without going, you know, there's tons of ways people do that. And one really good thing I learned from a mentor was he says okay you get now you're looking for shorts but you don't go short when the momentum changed it because it's already done some move in that direction to get there so you're waiting for a deal you know you need a good price 
just because now I'm a short guy doesn't mean I'm going to sell anywhere. You want to sell as close as you can to where you're going to have to stop. Right. So just like here, right? On this bar, your uh, your X, you're already in a, in a buy, right? Mm -hmm. Everything is blue, but you're not buying here because this is not above zero, the 15 minute, right? And that's our requirement. When it gets above zero, you, you say, okay, so 20, 25 pips stop loss. Now, in the case of a small account, that may not be tolerable, but if you have like two, three, 4,000 and you're in a Hugo's way kind of thing, so you can do a half a lot as, as a trade, you can adjust your half a lot based on what your tolerance says, right? Right. That's right. Hey, 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 Deborah. Yes. Yes. Like some of these, some of these trades that he's 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 uh he's he's talking about, there was too many pits for you. You could still take the trade, just just like he said, just adjust your lot size to to compensate how much money you're willing to. Yeah, I'm to, assuming that she has a small account, so she's trading point oh one. That's why I didn't go into that. Right. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Small. You can't adjust a point of one, unfortunately, unless you have a micro account where you can go below the point of one. That's that's the no. that's that's, uh, that's the issue that. with what I would, That's why I was explaining that you may not want to take this. You may want to wait for this and get a better trade. And this is your right entry right here, somewhere in here. Even this is probably too much. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, it looks good. But it doesn't fit your your risk management pattern. Right, right. And the temptation is always not to wait for the blue Correct. confirmation. It's it's always, well, you know, I got the little snatcher blue ball. I, I'll just enter here. But no, right. that that's not right. Let me show you a trick. Okay, mm -hmm. you're over here, and this is too much risk for you, right? Mm -hmm. What do you have uh, over here? You have one minute. Oh, right. Okay. Now, of course, this thing doesn't stay on the freaking thing. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where was I? Lost my track. There. Okay, this is too much risk for you. So you drop it down to the one. Yeah. What do you say? Okay. Okay, now. Here, your risk is 12 pips. Yeah. You take your entry. <laughs> Much better. Put your stop loss over here. Go back to your file. If you get taken out, it's tolerable for you. Right. Yeah. And in this case, hallelujah. Here's, I love that. Trade. I love that. 87 pips. <laughs> it's the same thing you can do with a 15 minute yep, drop down if your five. risk is too much like here the entry this risk is like 35 pips you look at the 5 minute This reduces somewhat, but still not, you know, still not happy with it. You can go down mm -hmm. to the one. Of course, it won't stay where it's supposed to stay, but. Hmm. <sighs> and here, your entry is here. There it is. Yeah. Right there. Stop loss is here, 12 pips. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can refine your entries based on the time frame. Right, but this right. has to be an acceptable loss. If it's not acceptable, you're not taking the trade. Period. Right. Period. Yeah. Now I go back to the fifteen and say, okay, where's my exit? This was an uh, an entry anyway, because the H twelve is not blue. The entry would be somewhere here. Right. This is when you start looking for an entry, and you're in the middle. 
So you can still drop it down to the one minute. Hopefully it's going to stay. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm saying this if you're desperate to find a trade. Desperation, that's me. I was yeah. going to say desperation is not good. Here's your entry, right? <laughs> Quiet desperation. Here's your stop loss. So eight pip stop loss back on the 15. Let's say you get out over here, 40 pips. Yeah. Now you're not technically out because H4 has a dart, but I don't like two balls because they're two deep retracements. Okay, so you're saying uh, when you're going to enter a trade, you want to wait on you're on the 15 minute chart. You wait for everything to sync. You go down to the one minute and time your entry. Uh, not much. necessarily, right? This didn't sync. Pardon? It's not synced over here, right? This is not a fresh. Yeah. I uh, still found an entry. But this is this is more a desperation trade than mm. the system trade that we are talking about. Right. Right. It's not all lined up. Great. Because your lowest trigger one isn't fresh cross. Great. I don't mean low on the chart. I mean the lowest uh, value. This one here. Yeah, the 30. Uh, this is all lined up. So you know your momentum is good. You can go to the lower time frame and take a fresh. That's what I did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I took a fresh on the one minute. This okay. is what FSS doesn't teach you. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how to time your entries. They, they just say, you know, you you time your filter and boom, you're in. But how do you manage your, your trade is more important mm -hmm. than just getting in based on uh, as something sinking up. You know, uh, it doesn't make any sense for, uh, for just taking a trade on sync. If your risk tolerance is not in, in, in line with your trade, I would, I would not take it. Any okay. random trigger has triggered because it's already moved that direction and you need to expect at that time some profit taking of the people that moved it there and you should be able to get a better price. Correct. Well, like I said, this is, this is, this is more advanced. I mean, you don't need this because you can go through the pairs, scan through the pairs and find a fresh cross based on the time frame you're trading. Like if you're trading the 15 minute time frame. Just stick to it. Find your fresh. See if it's a risk tolerance and take it. Okay. You shouldn't be going between time frames. That's just going to get confusing. Okay. So th this is a uh, answer for my question. How do you find the pair to trade? You scan through. Uh, well, I mean, if you identified yourself as a swing trader for the day. You're, mm. you're on the 15 minute chart. Yeah. You're not going one hour, four hour, whatever. Everything is depicted mm -hmm. here for you. Okay. Yep. And in this case, you're looking for the 12 hour to change from red to blue. So mm -hmm. you already have the low of the day on the four hour, right? So you know you're going long. You're just waiting for the 12 hour to sync up. Here, there is no trade on this particular pair. But if you look at the pound yen, pound yen gave you a trade here. And you can say, okay, my stop loss is here. This is 32 pips. Do I need to take this trade? Mm, that's too much. Right? The advanced thing that I showed you is if I'm here and my risk tolerance is too high on the 15, I drop it to the one, and in the, in the one, I'm in the middle of a retrace. Re, uh, retrace. Here's my entry right here. Now, if you're trading one pair, th this is very, very valuable, uh, viable to do. Uh, 
this is like a six pip stop loss, right? Yeah. You go back to your 15, then you just follow your trade. So you're trading the 15. Correct. But you can go, if you choose to, you can go to your five or your one for your entry entry and set a reasonable stop loss. Correct. Then, then once that's done, you have your hard stop in place. Right. <clears throat> then you go back to your 15 and watch it go up, right? Correct. Yeah. So that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's good. So yeah, you're right. You here's your that. exit, 52 pips. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And does, does that answer your question, Renata? Um, yeah, not quite. Uh, you, you look after the entry, but uh, do you have a way to pick the best one or just wait for the one which has an entry? Well, okay. So let's say I'm just trading the pound pairs, nothing else, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, what time do you trade? Uh, London. Huh? London. London. Right, well, right here. This is a London Open. So this is a European Open. Do you come in at two in the morning or three in the morning Eastern? Yeah, two in the, in the morning. Two in the morning? Yeah. Okay, so let's just mark that. <laughs> and let's just go to Pound Aussie. What does Pound Aussie look like? This is up, there's no sink. The four hours doing a high of the day. So you know this is not in, in sync, right? So you're not mm -hmm. doing that. Okay. Pound CAD, pound CAD, it give you a high of the day here. And if this, you're trying to go up, you're not in sync, right? Mm -hmm. Pound no. Swissy. This is going down, not in sync. Pound Yen, mm -hmm. not in sync. Pound New Zealand, not in sync, right? Mm -hmm. And pound dollar. Our dollar is in sync, hallelujah. Now I'm looking mm -hmm. for a trade. There you go. Found mm -hmm. a pair. My entry is here because, you know, this was a three ball retrace, it finished. Here's my entry. Now mm -hmm. I say, okay. So 20 pip stop loss. I don't want a 20 pip stop loss. Can I get something better? Go to the five. Five is still not giving me a great stop loss, but you know this this thing here six pips. Mm -hmm. All right, Yo, here's my trigger. Found my trade. Mm -hmm. Back to the fifteen. What am I doing now? I'm waiting for the four hour really? return. Right? To build a change. Mm -hmm. Here's my trade. Wow, ninety four pips. When six pips uh, is one error? Six it, versus 94 is one yeah. to 16 almost. Yeah. Risk reward. Yeah. Okay. So we should uh, almost go to the lower time frame to pick up the better entry. Again, I, I'm not telling you how to trade. I'm just showing you what you can do, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. an option. Yeah, it's an option. Yeah. yeah. It, like like uh, Ken said, it's an option. Now, even mm -hmm. here, you can say, okay, I'm not going to take a stop loss here. I'm going to take a stop loss at the low, mm -hmm. right? Because it didn't break this low. Mm -hmm. You can do that right on this time frame, but this, you're not sure, right? You don't have a swing point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas on the one minute. You'll get a swing point, yeah. You got a swing point. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Get there. Mm, thank you. And the swing point would be the the dot, the retracement. Yeah, I'm trying right? to get there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and slide your anchor to where it was. right there. Yeah, I had anchored it with it just. I guess I moved in my chart, but here, uh, where was my entry? Entry is here. Wow. Well, I think I took my entry on the five, but here, here's the entry, a better mm -hmm. entry. Yeah. That uh, trend close would be what I would use. Correct. 
So that's the entry. I can say, okay, minimum stop loss, I want is 10 pips. You can put it at 10, whatever, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's your entry, you know, back to the 15, and there's a trade. All you're doing on the lower time frame is trying to minimize your stop, uh, your yeah. better, your losses, better, better price. Yeah. Well, hey, 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 Renata. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, if, 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 if you look at it like this, you, you had a low in the London section. Mm -hmm. Of you had the low of the session and the low of the day. Right. Mm -hmm. it, the price is most likely is not going to come back and get you. Yeah. So you, you know. Don't don't be scared to take your trade. Take it a little bit more confidence because most likely you 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 at a point where the market is has topped out, has bottomed yeah. out. Yeah, it's not going to go back down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if if it does, something's not right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I love about the whole thing is the low and high of the day and the week. Yeah, you get you you get better risk reward ratio when you get those trades right at the near those those levels because the probability yeah. goes up because the the probability of the price coming back to 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 stop you out with, with all that momentum building up mm -hmm. is, is 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 not is not likely but but this uh yellow bolt isn't it rep repainting it, it only repaints if 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 the if if the 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 low yeah, yeah, because lower that means the low of that session or the low of the day has not been established. Yeah, right. another low, yeah, a lower low, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rav, I got a question when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna thank you. Uh, the question is on your are you using the I sessions? Yes, okay, I have a question for you, and I should know this. Mark probably does, but if he's really good at this stuff. How do I um, get it to where it's just the border and not the full color? Can oh, you go to yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you go there's to a, the there's an option in it? Like here, you know, fill here your section to have faults. What? Fill your section to have faults. Fill US position to have faults. So you don't fill the box. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's on the I session uh, parameters. Yeah. I have, okay. Wow. Okay. I like that. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then I've set it. I've set it as at London Open, not the European Open. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what, where my parameters are. Mm -hmm. And this Got is it. at uh, nine o'clock, which is uh, the actual U.S. stock market open. Yeah. Rather than the eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like Renata. I, I, I want this craziness for the pound to be over with at, at the London Open before I take my trades. Mm -hmm. As okay. you notice, the, the pound just dropped at the beginning of London, and then it just went the other way. Do you live in Europe or are you in the states? Oh no, I'm in the states. Where? East Coast. East Coast. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm way over on the left side. Yeah. I know. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I mean, th does that answer the question about the scan, the, uh, the type of trader, the entries, the exits? Is there anything else, you guys? Because we are, we are at an hour. Yeah, okay. I'm this good. Is, this is great. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Rajit. Uh, hi guys, uh, sorry I'm a, a little late and I've been a little busy, but yes, I have. Oh, I'm going to to review the the, the presentation. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank yeah. you, Santiago. Um, but um, yeah, the idea is for me is like make a scanner. Okay, so yeah. um, um, for the moment, I don't know what is the balls um, uh, means. And I have an idea about the arrow because uh, 
Santiago give us to give give it to us. Right. Uh, but um, then uh, I, I I need maybe know if that uh, both um, indicator is something that no, is no. very. You need okay. your your filter. I mean your scanner based on this feature. Okay. Here. This is our main, yeah. you know, okay. synchronization sink. piece. The sync, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And because what about the scanner the, should give you the alert that it's coming into sync, and then you can make your decision based on. Yeah, um, I eyeball it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so because you have also the the color of the candles. Uh, yeah, don't worry about all that. What I'm saying okay. is, this is the piece that needs okay. to be in sync. This is where our decision is made. The filter. Yeah. yeah the so filter. my thinking is. Um, to uh, the parameter of the of the scanner will be or should be uh, like a filter in the monthly filter in the weekly filter in the daily uh, one uh, daily 16 hour uh, 8 12 hour I'm not using eight those. hour but maybe for someone that wants to to play those, for example, I'm playing with uh, that kind of the uh, uh, 12 and the and the 16 mm -hmm. to look for the high and the low of the week. Um, maybe could be useful. So, um, so you can like check those uh, time frame that you okay. want, and you okay. can uh, like if you are a scalper. Yeah. You take the one hour, the ah, sorry, the, the one minute, the five minute, and what else? Uh, mm -hmm. The fifty. Yeah. Well, so, on the one minute, I have. He talks about it in the presentation. So five, fifteen, thirty, and each one. Okay. Okay. So I, I will check in the presentation when I see it again. But okay. So we are agreed that if we add this filter. To the maybe to the current uh, scanner, and we can like uh, check the time frame that I want to 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 have the signals. For example, color, 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 and uh, in the smaller time frame, color and cross. Yeah. Okay. It's clear. With the right parameters, you know, the three twenty-five and two. Yes. Okay. And then it is, then on the eight hour, twelve hour, sixteen hour, it's, there's adjustment involved. Okay. <clears throat> you know that mm -hmm. I'm telling you stuff you know, but no, no, it's okay. It's, it's it took good. a while for me to figure it out. <laughs> hey, 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 Raphael, we we, yes. we we played around with with the daily, the daily, the eight hour, twelve hour, sixteen hour, twenty four okay. hours, and we what we came up with was the the 12 hour so okay what works the best really for, for, okay okay yeah. so the 12 is better than the 16 no no yeah the the 12 is better than the 16 okay and then anything above that we decided with the two day which is the 20 uh, 48 hours ah got it got it got it so we have a 48 a 12 and a 4 are, are the, are, are the all the largest time frames that you need to make any decisions okay. uh, on your lower time frames 12 up like if I'm trading the 15 minute time frame, the 12 can be my largest. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, you don't have to necessarily be in sync with the 48 hours, but of course you'll get better trades when everything's in sync, but it doesn't have to be. Got it. Okay. 12 hour. Okay. Thank you, Santiago. Okay. I'm writing this down. That's why I ask. <laughs> okay, good. It makes sense now you know you think about it a little but, bit. but 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 rafael it, it does it doesn't hurt to add more time frames if you want to you can always yeah around. It doesn't okay matter. but the, but the main time frames that we, we're discussing are going to be those those are going to be they have they have to be in the stack okay okay so yes i'm going to uh, add it anyway or i'm going to Here's try the to issue, find... uh, rafael, if you add or or select multiple time frames for a filter you'll get very few signals because one or the other is going to be in conflict Okay. Yeah. Like the four hour may be in conflict with the eight hour, but maybe in sync with the 12. Yeah. And right. you're not going to get a signal. And yeah. then you're going to come back and say, why didn't you give me a signal? Right. 
then so, you can you I, I don't know if you know maybe uh santiago you 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 have the scanner and yeah. and, and and how to check you you know you can check whatever you want so uh, as you say uh raj yeah. if you don't want to the four hour be in conflict with the 16 hour for example you don't check it and you check those yeah, you time frame it. that you want you program it yeah yeah mm -hmm. you program it like we do yeah got it mm -hmm. okay that's gonna be uh i don't know rafael how i get money to you but i'd be more than willing to contribute. <laughs> i'm going actually I, I, it's not contribute. myself it's not myself that is going to make it. I have to look for the programmer, and I'm going to ask him to 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 make it. He's going to give us a, a, give me a, a prize, and and then I, I I let you know if if you can give some collaboration. I will be uh, grateful. But if not, it's something that I'm interested in anywhere. So. I'm well, I will, but I just don't know how to send money to France. But we'll. Talk ah, no, uh, PayPal, PayPal or something. PayPal. Yeah, PayPal. Yes. Oh, you can do pay okay. Oh, yeah, I got paid yeah, no Okay. Problem. All right. Well, that's down the road. Let us know. Yeah. Or yeah. let me know. I'm yeah. not a freeloader. Can we like we help but paying for it? For sure. I, I don't <laughs> think anybody would uh yeah. Okay. Okay. You know how there are people out there in the world that are always looking for something for free, and you know? that's not yeah, well how we roll. Is yeah it's something that we have to to hire a, a programmer to yeah. do it and add it so <laughs> that is going to cost um, sure. it's normal <laughs> nothing's free nothing's free right <laughs> okay right, guys good. anything else yeah my thinking is also um the indicator maybe the indicator could uh, uh, should be the normal one, the Osma uh, that we used to do. Uh, no, because see, the no. Osma is not multiple time frame. That's uh, the problem. Uh, the scanner neither, uh, actually. So what we uh, use is only one indicator, and okay. then he's going to select the time frame. So, uh, yeah, so my thinking is that only I have to maybe uh, uh, for the eight hour, 12 hour, 16 hour, uh, like uh, three new filters. I, I don't know. I have to think about it, but uh, I think it's really easy to, to make it really, really easy. Yeah. yeah. Just, okay. It's just the parameters. Yeah. 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 Because I have only to change the parameters, right? The 325 and two and select the, the time frame. Mm. That's That works, but then the problem on like, let's say the 12 hour, it's a whole different uh, yeah, yeah. numbers, you know, that we right. punch in. So, I mean, you'll, you'll figure, they'll figure it out, but they yes. have to know, you know, you have to convey it to them. Yeah, okay. But it's all yes. very interesting. <laughs> Perfect. Rajiv. Um, on the D2 one, the two day, did you just set that oscillator on the daily and then multiply them times two? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I tried half a week, like uh, four hour with 15 can, uh, multiplier of 15, and it just didn't work. There's a we really even tried three days, <laughs> and that just didn't work. The two day was the best. Uh, one we found. Yeah. And you know, using that MACD like you just shared with us, um, it is better than the Hike and Ashy because the Hike and Ashy, you can't really get a good uh, entry. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's mm -hmm. like you're you're trading blind almost. Right. You're trading the color basically on a Hike and Ashy. Yeah, and I guess it's okay, but this is much better because then you can look for a good a good price or a good entry, right? But it's easier to read. Yeah. Uh, Rajiv, were you okay. going to send? Were you going to send it uh, the new template again yeah, today? Let me save it again. Uh, save mm -hmm. <laughs> and this will have this in there, but you can take it out if you want. It will have which in there? The you know the. 
selector, symbol selector. Oh, okay. It won't even appear if we don't have it in our home. Yeah, if you don't have the indicator, it won't even show. Yeah. I have a different, I have the navigator that I use, but it still works. Yeah. I'm just saying that, you know, if you want to, uh, like normally when I set up, set this up, I set it up as, as this and then without this, so that if I have individual charts, I don't, I don't get to see that. Yeah. Ken, can you do the navigator horizontally like he did? Not that I know of. I've never. Okay. It, it, I paid for it, so I like to use it. <laughs> but uh, I use three charts. Yeah, um, but I can still use this system without any problem, you know. I searched for symbol changer one and I couldn't find it. I saw one that was version three somewhere. Um. There you go. The template's in the chat. Good, yeah, I heard it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. File scan. Yeah, got it. Now, there's a stochastic down here that you can remove. You're uh, not using that. I just keep it. Uh, I'm not using that at all, actually. But. OK, anything else you guys want to ask? I'm good. Thank you. All right, then I'm going to stop you. sharing. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Roger. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.